Now, to be honest with you guys, I don't think I've ever been more excited for a string of anime before in my life until now, bro. Like, next year and even, like, the end of this year, it's about to go crazy. You know that, right? Now, I haven't made a what I'm going to be watching video in a while, and the reason why is because... I really haven't been watching anything. In recent months, really, the only time I've been watching anime, honestly, is with you guys here on the channel. Like, I haven't watched anime in my free time since, like, Nagatoro. Now, what was that, like, a couple of months ago or something like that? Now, it's not like I don't know what's popping right now. Like, I'm still in the mix when it comes to these things. Like, I know, like, Mushoku Tensei is an anime that, like, everyone loves right now. Uh, I know, like, the second season recently came out. Uh, Komi-san is another one that, like, everyone and their mom adores that wholesome show like i'm well aware of these it's just that in recent times seasonal anime really hasn't grabbed me as much like there hasn't really been anything like I've, I've genuinely like gravitated towards usually when it comes to seasonal anime it's usually like sequels that i'm i'm waiting for or like returning series that like i've known for a while and like another thing it's not like any of like the seasonal anime have been bad like i've checked out some of the shows like i've checked out 86 i've checked out Mushoku Tensei in my off time, but like I haven't really like finished them or I haven't really been like deeply invested in them. They were like, oh, okay, I gotta finish this right now. Like I feel like the last seasonal show that was new that I was like super invested in off rip was Tokyo Avengers. Like that was just like a gem and a half, bro. Like I love that show so much. So like besides that, there really hasn't been anything that I've kind of been like truly interested in. It's like I've kind of already figured out in my head what I'm already gonna be invested for in like the next couple of months, bro. Cause the winter season my god is it about to slap so today i'm gonna talk about some of my personal most anticipated animes that holy shit i cannot wait for before we get into the video everybody do you know what i think is fun farming but not just any type of farming i mean farming in space with idle space farmer idle space farmer is a simulation game that mixes farming monsters with waifu management that's right you heard me correctly waifu management this is all to gain profit and become the millionaire in space the aim of this idle simulator is to recruit the best agents to defeat as much monsters as possible with the income you make you out to hire agents and upgrade your farms and spaceship idle space farmer like i said has a huge variety of heroes and waifus that you can choose in the game once you're in the game though you can use my exclusive promo code ray0731 to get the special hero ray which looks super awesome by the way so once again use ray0731 in the game today with idle space farmer you can expand your space empire and give your farm a boost with specialized agents who will automate the workflow of your farm take this opportunity to conquer the universe of your farm online or offline of course get rich and expand to other worlds and buy spaceship upgrades invest cash and become the greatest space farm manager tycoon in this awesome strategy simulator everybody so yeah, everybody make sure to click the link down below in the description to download the game today or scan that qr code on your screen and also once you're in the game don't forget to use my special promo code ray0731 to get the special hero ray and also idle space farmers thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video the first series up you guessed it it's demon slayer the red light district arc or the entertainment district arc whatever you prefer to call it now you guys know i've been spamming the demon slayer uploads bro like i've been just i like the past seven videos i uploaded have been all about demon slayer man so <laughs> You guys know I'm super excited for the actual new content that is going to go down once we get the Red Light District arc in December, bro. December 5th, that's that's the date. I have it marked on the calendar. I am ready and I will be here for it as soon as that date hits. Now, guys, what can I say that hasn't already been said already, man? Like, I've made plenty of videos on Demon Slayer Season 2. Y'all know I'm here for the hype, bro. December, it's going down. Let's move on, right? Next series up is a very special one to me, man. It comes out in December as well. And you probably guessed it already. It's JoJo Part 6 Stone Ocean. My God. To this day, I still cannot believe we're actually at the next part of JoJo in the anime, bro. It's 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 it's, it's insane to me. I, I just can't I can't fathom that I actually get to continue JoJo. I'm like, for some reason, I'm thinking like part five, I'm like Dude, I'm not seeing part six for like another 50 years, bro. I'm just like, I don't know, dude. JoJo is just like one of those rare series, at least to me, that's just like, dude, it's, it's so special. Like, there's no other anime like it out there, man. Like, I it just, I love JoJo so much. I love the world of JoJo, man. And of course, you guys probably know this, but, you know, I kind of, you know, I guess started the channel off, or I guess like one of the first big series that popped off here on the channel was the uh, part five reactions to uh, Golden Wind, man. And uh, to this day, I'm eternally grateful to all the JoJo fans that decided to check me out because they're like, hey, this dude likes JoJo and I like JoJo too. I'm a subscribe. So, hey, 
the fact that part six is coming up like i said before it feels like things are just going full circle uh in terms of uh i guess like the series and whatnot like we're finally back at it again man so part six stone ocean i don't know when it releases in december though i just know it releases in december now the thing is i know that netflix hasn't officially confirmed they've been changing stuff up with the the episode release dates because like i really hope that they release jojo weekly like jojo fridays bro like those shits were so fun man like i just I, I just really hope that they release it weekly because i feel like the hype for part six will last a whole lot longer man but obviously you guys know this man but yeah bro the ogs from like the golden wind the jojo part five days y'all know that when it comes to jojo i don't play around man we about to get hype for that one next series up is something that i'm still a, a little skeptical about i'm not gonna lie and that series is chainsaw man now we don't know exactly when chainsaw man comes out i don't think there's any official release date or any type of uh like t or like rumor or anything like that or floating around the internet so we just know that chainsaw man it's in development by studio mappa everyone's favorite or least favorite let's just call him the infamous studio map but you know you love him you hate him you can choose whichever right um chainsaw man um i've never seen a series more hyped up like in comparison to like where the entire internet is like in unison that like holy shit this looks amazing like this looks phenomenal bro like the only times that i can really recall when the internet was like in full hype mode like, I'm not even talking, like, anime community people, like, anime YouTubers or, like, anime whatever, right? I'm talking, like, just, like, random-ass people, dude. Just random-ass, like, s fucking e-celebs or whatever the hell, right? Just random-ass celebrities or whatever. They're like, yo, Chainsaw Man, this shit looks hype, man. The, the only times I can really recall when something like this happened was, like, Dragon Ball Super. Um, you know, like, the end of, like, the Tournament of Power arc when Goku gets, like, Ultra Instinct and shit like that um demon slayer episode 19 i know that one broke the internet and like attack on titan season four's um you know whole wave when the part one of course when that was like all uh you know going on like those are the only times that i can really recall when like the whole internet was just in agreement dude that chainsaw man is gonna be fire i remember chainsaw man was trending for like fucking was it like a week or like a couple days or something like that straight shit was crazy man so like my expectations for chainsaw man i'm not gonna lie to you guys they're extremely high like the the people have hyped the series up and made a couple videos on it in the past dude i'm definitely like i'm i'm all, all aboard it though i'm all aboard it. i'm just saying man this series has to slap like it has to slap bro like there's no way that it gets hyped up this much studio mappa puts this much work into a trailer it looks amazing it looks phenomenal and it turns out to be mid i don't believe that so hey chainsaw man i think it's gonna be fires but we still have, you know, maybe I don't know how long else to wait. Yeah, we're kind of left in the dark for right now. So hopefully we get an update soon before the year ends. Because, uh, yeah, dude, Chainsaw Man is definitely something I do not want to miss. Now, everybody, the next series I'm about to talk about is probably some of the most excited and hyped and curious and just invested I've ever been into a piece of media or fiction in my life. You guys already know what this is though of course i'm talking about that motherfucking attack on titan season four part two listen this better change my perspective on reality itself dude it better change my whole scope on humanity as i see it that is how hyped i am to see this part or i guess this arc or whatever right people say that this section this segment of attack on titan season four part two has the craziest shit like this is peak attack on titan like this is the best it ever gets it, it's just the best it ever gets bro like all that shit we've seen before all the crazy shit with aaron and his buddies and levi and erwin and, and zeke and all that shit fuck all that because it has nothing on the shit that's about to go down in season four part two now i'm also curious about the ending because as you guys know the ending is pretty infamous among a lot of people it's pretty you know controversial a lot of people didn't like it they even think it's dog shit now 
I'm gonna keep it real, dude. I, I made a whole video on my... I don't want to say it's my theories about the ending, but it was just my thoughts on people's reaction to the ending. Even though I don't know what happens myself, I want to save that for what goes on in the anime, right? Because eventually, I'm gonna find out just like everyone else already knows. But I'm just gonna figure it out from a different media... Uh, different fucking format. Um... I really hope people are exaggerating a little bit about this ending. There's no way that, like, I'm thinking that, like, Isayama, the GOAT, the god himself that made this fucking masterpiece of an anime, just decided at the end to be like, fuck it, bro. Just, just fuck it, dude. I mean, like, I saw, like, there's this, yo, there's this little fucking picture of Isayama. This dude was playing fucking Splatoon while making the last chapter of, of, of Attack on Titan. I don't know why I think that's just comedy, dude. I don't know if he was fucking playing Splatoon. That's why the chapter, or I guess, like, the ending sucked in some people's eyes. But, hey, it is what it is, man. All I know is that once the first episode, or I guess the, the continuation, episode 17, drops... I'm going to instant transmission my ass to this chair. I'm going to turn on the camera. And guess what we're going to do? I'm going to glue my eyes to the screen. And we're going to watch this motherfucking new part together. My boys. Listen, man. I've been an Attack on Titan fan. I've been an Aaron fan since the fucking beginning, bro. And if this, if, if all the shit that I've seen before is nothing compared to what happens in this, in this new season. I'm losing my mind. You might see a body on camera, bruh. I'm gonna record my death live on camera, post it to YouTube. Hopefully YouTube doesn't take it down, just so you can know I died from the hype. But I guess we will see in January when it drops. Can you believe that we are getting these, these strings of anime? Just like, oh my God. How lucky are we that we get so many bangers just back to back to back? And I was just naming the stuff that I've, I'm invested in. I was just naming the stuff that, like, I know for sure I'm going to be there to watch. And, like, of course, to you guys, there's probably, like, five or ten other anime that you're that you're hoping gets released. Or, like, that you're hoping like that you're hoping you get to watch soon, bro. Like, to you guys, there might, you might be even more hyped. But right now, dude, just seeing, like, these three or four series that I get to watch them soon... Holy shit, you can't understand how excited I am to just jump back into some of these fucking series, dude. Because holy shit, I am just ready, man. But everybody, make sure to leave in the comments down below. Let me know what your guys' most anticipated anime are. You know, what are you most excited to watch, bro? Just leave everything in the comments down below. Also, make sure to subscribe. We're on our way to hitting that 200,000 subscribers together. But nonetheless, it's been your boy, guys, and I'm out. Peace.